Old dog Anton Pierre to chill here, man. Good to see you guys. So, old dog Anton Pierre to chill. That's my artist name. I'm a recording artist, right? From over here in the Middle East and Asia. Um, old dog. Old dog is kind of like a sexually explicit guy. Old dog. He's all about, you know, he's a little gangster. He's a little kind of thuggish sometimes, but sexually explicit. But he's a clown. He likes to have fun and things like that. Um, Anton Imperial is the center because it's more of who I truly am. Um, that's why it's old dog Anton Imperial in the center, and then the, and then the chill. Anton Imperial is all about education, upliftment, um, sociology, psychology, physiology, philosophy, history, politics, government, economics, and things like that. That's Anton Imperial. And the chill is the last name, and the chill is a hopeless romantic. The chill is all about falling in love, raising a family. And, uh, and things like that. So that is the chill. Um, this is Diversity Outspoken, everybody. Um, we do this every Wednesday and every Sunday night, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time Zone, United States time. So every Wednesday night, 9 o'clock p.m. United States Eastern Time Zone. And every Sunday night, 9 o'clock p.m. United States Eastern Time Zone. Good to see you guys. Definitely, definitely, definitely. We call this Diversity Outspoken, you guys, because... We speak about a diverse range of topics, meaning that we speak about anything and everything, and we are outspoken about those topics, meaning that we are straight to the point about all of those topics. Um, I do a daily historical post, you guys, every day. What's going on, Beatrice? I see you. It's all good, beautiful jewel. What's going on, sister? Uh, every day I do a daily historical post, so if you guys ever get bored or anything like that, you guys can go ahead and look at that daily historical post. If you want to see what happened on a particular day, going back hundreds of years, centuries, thousands of years, um, decades, or whatever. Right? Um, I have one rule here, one rule only, is, and that is that we do not uh, ever disrespect one another. We remain respectful, re respectful the entire time. What's going on, Adam Mowers? I see you, my brother. It's all good. We remain respectful the entire time. Um, you can agree, you can disagree, everybody's voice is important to me, but just remain respectful of the entire environment, of diversity outspoken, and of one another. All right. <laughs> I am Old Dog Anti Imperial to chill, you guys. Um, you can reach me on Instagram and on TikTok and TikTok. TikTok at anti underscore imperial. That's at A N T I underscore that little line at the bottom underscore I M P E R I A L at anti underscore imperial on YouTube it's just anti imperial with a space in between just a n t i space i m p e r i a l what's going on what's going on how you doing boom i see you it's all good um after that you guys if you guys have me on Instagram you guys can easily subscribe to my YouTube because you guys can subscribe to my YouTube by going to my Instagram bio page you guys know we all have an Instagram bio page and on that Instagram bio page we have that one line where we can put a link and that link will always be my latest video so if you go to my Instagram bio page you click the link my video will come up it will be a YouTube video and then you can just go ahead and hit the subscribe button when that video comes up and you will be subscribed and I'd appreciate it so today we're talking about you guys AI artificial intelligence. What's going on, Superstar Six Seventeen, aka Sonya? Artificial intelligence AI. So you're like, oh my lord, anti-imperial. What is wrong with you? What is going on? Are you kind of one of those weird conspiracy theory guys? No, I am not. I am not at all. If you guys know me, you guys know I'm all about you know education and history and stuff like that. So since I'm all about history and things like that, um. Everything for me has to be like a proven fact, right? So us historians, you know, we, 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 uh, we deal with proven facts, right? Because that's how history comes about. You can't have history if it's just like, oh, you're guessing certain things. So we try to just focus on things that are proven fact. So we are going to talk about AI, artificial intelligence today. Um, and you'll see how that goes. <laughs> have my notes here. So you guys, um, speaking of my daily historical posts that I do, back on December the 9th, um, 2019, back on December the 9th, what's going on boss lady, I see you, back on December the 9th, um, I had a historical post, what's going on, I see you, I see you, 3797, Narte, 3797, it's all good, what's going on, who's that, who's that, Rakesh, what's going on Rakesh, good to see you, good to see you, back on December the 9th, I had a daily historical post, and I, um, there were two, it was a four part daily historical post, you know I do the historical post but they'll be like you know the different slides so it was a four slide daily historical post and the last two slides 
Um, it was December 9th, 1950, where um, the the series, the book series, I Robot came out, right? And that's neither here nor there. And then there was a um, December 9th, 2014. There was a speech given by a gentleman named uh, Stephen Hawking, um, which uh, which you know. You guys are, uh, you know, all know about or whatever. So Stephen Hawking, um, boss lady says, oh, boss is about to be a grand, a grandmother. Um, her grandbaby is on the way. There you go. There you go. Congratulations, boss lady. Let us know when it gets here for sure, for sure, for sure. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Love to see beautiful kids born in the world. <laughs> for sure, boss lady. Um, on December 9th. And we'll, and we'll pop the top for the champagne for you when the, when the baby comes, right? <laughs> for sure. Um, on December the 9th, you guys, 2014, um, Stephen Hawking, um, who was real big with his speeches and things like that. If you guys don't know who he is, look him up. But I, I said on my Daily Historical Post on December the 9th, he had gave a speech where he said that AI, artificial intelligence, um, would be the downfall of man, he said, right? And that was in my Daily Historical Post. And um, that was neither... I was going to say that, that was neither here nor there. It is kind of here and there because I'm going to kind of focus on AI. Um, but, but that's what he said. And, uh, and definitely, you guys, um, it's very important. So if you – I've always said this. I've always said uh, about movies and Hollywood. And something that I really respect about Hollywood and I really, really respect about movies is that they always seem to be ahead of the curve. They always seem to be, I'm talking about like decades ahead of the curve. It's like, it seems like people that make movies, they read all of the news magazines, they read all of the, the articles of future technology, then they make these movies created around future technology and created around future um, social impacts that will happen 20, 30 years down the line. Because if you watch movies... Um, they're always way in advance, right? Even going back to the movies about, you know, aliens and stuff like that from the 1950s and things like that, right? And, um, and it's a whole, this is another <laughs> Diversity Outfocus episode, but I'm pretty sure that we'll run into aliens one day. Um, but just being with that, if you ever look at movies, they always put technology in their movies, either about cloning. There's been a lot of movies, you know, whether you're talking about like The Terminator or iRobot. Um, or AI. Um, there's another movie with Bruce Willis. I forgot what that was about cloning and stuff like that. Um, but they're always ahead of the curve with like what may be or, or what usually happens in the future. They usually see the future kind of before it happens, right? Where there's like genetic modification or anything like that or whatever. So movies is always for me. Movies is always um, a real good, um, a real good look into the future. Right. When you have those movies that um, that do talk about technology and future technology and future society and things like that. So these so new technology comes out then. Right. So things about like um, so, you know, drones, we have drones out now. Right. We have self-driving cars. We have self-driving cars now and things like that. And we celebrate these things. Right. Um, you know, like Tesla, right? Tesla is is, uh, is doing their self driving car. They're trying to, you know, make sure you know every all the kinks are out and things like that. And we're like, man, like as human beings, we're like, man, these things are wonderful. These self driving cars, everything's gonna be self driving. I know Uber was talking about their self driving cars they're working on, and Uber was talking about um, building the uh, like the little kind of like car helicopters that will be able to land on rooftops, and that way. Um, with Uber, people can go to the rooftop of a, to like a helipad on the rooftop of like all, cause you know, every, pretty much every uh, condo, every uh, tall building they have on the top of their roofs, they have places where helicopters can land. Um, and so Uber is going to take advantage of that and they're going to build cars that fly so that you can go to the top of the building, catch your Uber and you can fly over traffic. So places that have really bad traffic um, you can go ahead and fly right over that traffic and get to where you're going within minutes, right? So Uber's working on that. So all this new technology is coming up. You guys know Amazon has been talking about how they're going to work on the drones, right? Amazon's working on the drones and things like that, so that um, you know, when you call or when you call when you go online, I say not call when you go online, order your Amazon part, um, it can be there much faster um, by drones, right? If you have a drones pick up your uh, your packages in your city at a local Amazon location in your city and it can fly right over 
the drone can fly right over um, and deliver right to your doorstep um, really quickly, right? And like I said, we celebrate these technologies, and we should, right? Technology is a fun thing. Te technology is a wonderful thing. Technology makes our lives easier, okay? Technology makes our lives easier. But there's something that we need to realize with this new technology that continuously makes our lives easier with all this new technological advances um, in computer science and things like that. And that is, getting back to the Stephen Hawking point, that is that AI or artificial intelligence, or in other words, computerized materials, right? Computerized um, arms, computerized robots, computerized systems. That's basically what AI is. It's artificial intelligence, right? It's like, like we're, we're, we're human, right? We're, we're, human, we're hu humanity intelligence, right? Humanistic intelligence is what we are. And computers are just artificial um, because they're not really biological breathing things, artificial intelligence. So they're basically talking about computers. So um, you guys, this is a scary thing. And like I said, we always celebrate technology, which we should. But we also don't realize, I think, a lot of times that this new technology that we always celebrate, all these new computer systems that we always celebrate, that we always are, are you know, we're amazed by because they're going to make our lives easier. And, oh, man, it's going to be cool. Well, hey, oh, man, a, 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 you know, a, a, drive, a car that drives itself, that's going to be wonderful, right? All this new technology and things like that. When people see drones and, you know, most mu music videos, whenever I do a music video, we use drones and things like that, right? And we love these new technologies, okay? What's going on, Andy? I see you, Andy. We love these new technologies. But, you guys, these new technologies... Are going to lead to very 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 hard times for us very hard times for us right what's going on i see you antonia i see you antonia c it's all good you guys we're gonna to have to be careful because people that are in college if you're a parent for your kids that are going to be going to college the type of stuff that people used to take in college and the type of stuff that people was like, oh, go to college to be this. Go to college to be this. It's all good. It's all good. Bom dia, Antonia in Brazil. <laughs> like I said, I have a place in Buzios. I have a house in Buzios in the water, a beautiful house in the water over there in, in Brazil in Buzios. Love Buzios. It's a quiet, quiet fisher town, fisherman town. Um, love Buzios um, to death. And I have, I have a house there. So love, love Brazil, love Brazil, love Brazil. Um, people are going to be going to college, you guys, with like for jobs that may not be there. Your children, you, if you're in college, jobs that may not be there. Okay, they may not be there for people that are be going to college because of AI, because of artificial intelligence, because of computer technology, because of computer advancement. Okay, because of computer advancement. What's going on? What's going on? I see you, my brother. I see you. Grizzly, <laughs> what's going on, man? Good to see you. It's all good. You guys, things like accounting, banking, and all the low-paying jobs are going to be gone. First of all, all the low-paying jobs are going to be gone. That's the first thing. But even like the higher-paying jobs, right, things like accounting, banking, and things like that are going to be gone. All right. So while we're celebrating new technology, while we're celebrating the way that, you know, computers are advancing, we have to be very wary of the future that is to come. And it's not going to be a bright future for humanity. It's not going to be a bright future for human beings. All right. What's going on, macaroni, macaroni, six, four, rolling in my six, four, da, 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 what everybody's saying. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. You can see it right now, you guys. You can see it right now to where, to where you're definitely going to blow up. Oh, I'm, I'm, Grizzly, Grizzly's like, I'm going to blow up one day, my brother. But he said, you, like, I'm going to blow up one day. It's all good, man. I have everything I need, my brother. I have everything I need. You already know Elio. Elio, my brother, I have everything I need. Um, um, my life is perfect, my brother. My life is perfect. All I wish, Elio, is for you, man. I just want you to be as successful as possible in life. 
You know what I'm saying? I just want you to do everything you ever wanted to do, man. Achieve all your dreams, Elio. That's all I care about, man. It's like you. You know what I'm saying? So you guys on here, man. I'm good. I'm good. I've, I've, I have, I have a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? I've been blessed with a lot of money financially. I've achieved everything I wanted to achieve. I just, I'm just here to try to, you know, hopefully you guys get to where you guys want to be. For sure, for sure, for sure. What's going on, Scott? I see you, Scott. For sure, for sure. I see you. I see you. You guys already see it, you guys, with um, with grocery stores. You know what I'm saying? It's all good, Grizzly. Elio Grizzly. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. For sure, for sure, for sure. Grocery stores. Um, checkouts. It's, that's changing because before it was all it was all 100% grocery store cashiers. Now you're starting to see more self checkouts, right? They're starting to have them over there in the United States where most of you guys are. They're starting to have them in Targets, right? Pub, no, Publix doesn't have them yet. Winn Dixie, um, Walmart, Walmart has them, um, and so they're starting to get rid of the cashier job. You guys. These, this is the way these companies work. They can't change everything all together at once because they know that the way psychologically the human mind... You guys, I told you before on other Diversity Outspokens that these corporations hire psychologists. They hire psychologists to be able to teach them, these corporations, how to do things, how to market to you. How to get you stuck on their products. How to implement change so that it doesn't affect you as a human being. Okay? That's what these psychologists do that are hired by these corporations. You guys. So, the reason why you see these self-checkouts. Okay? The reason why you see these self-checkouts in these. I see you, Antonia. The reason why you see these self-checkouts in these stores, Target, Walmart. Win Dixie over there in the U.S. Not all over the store. There's still some cashiers left. Is because these corporations know psychologically you can't bring human beings to such a drastic change so quickly, immediately, right away, like that. You can't do it. So they put in a few, right? Self checkout booths. Okay, self checkout lines in these stores, but they keep the majority of the store cashier. And then a little while later, they'll take away some more cashiers and there'll be some more self checkouts. And then a few years down the line, they'll take away the last third of the cashiers and there'll be nothing but self checkouts all throughout the store. And guess what? We're not going to complain. Because we're used to it. Because it was implemented slowly. So psychologically, we're able to handle and accept it. And that's how it works. Okay? That's how it works. So you started to see AI already in stores with the self-checkouts. You, you, you started to, or, or you've seen for, for, for a long time, AI. And this, this is the thing. AI starts to come. And we don't even think about it as AI. And then we hear somebody say, oh, AI is going to be taking over. And we're like, oh, Lord, here's a conspiracy theorist talking about this AI thing. <laughs> what are they talking about? <laughs> Robots are taking over the world, right? So you've already seen AI implemented in a major way in banking. In banking? Oh, dog, Anton, period of chill. What are you talking about banking? You guys, the ATM. The ATM. The ATM is exactly what AI is. The ATM. When we go to the ATM to take out money, we don't even think about it, that that's AI. But what the A ATMs didn't always exist, people. ATMs didn't exist till like the late 80s, early 90s. And what the ATM did was it gave you basic. This is, this is what the ATM did. It took away a bank teller and it gave you a bank teller, a 24-hour bank teller. That's basically what an ATM is. It's a 24-hour bank teller so that the bank, when you need money, before the ATM, if you needed money, 
and the bank was closed, you couldn't go get any money whatsoever. At all. Before the ATM. You could get no money whatsoever. But now with the ATM, you can go at 12 midnight if you want to. The bank is still open. The ATM. You can go at 3 in the morning if you want to. The bank is still open. The ATM. That's artificial intelligence, people. That's computerized technology. Okay? So, even now, today, you have it to where you might go to the bank sometimes in the daytime. When the bank is open, and you'd rather go to the ATM. Because the line is short. The ATM is, all the ATM is a, another bank teller standing out there waiting for you to come to it. An electronic bank teller. Basically, a bank teller who's an electronic component, an electronic robot, computerized system. That's basically what an ATM is. So, ATM, AI, already been implemented. Okay? Don't be surprised if you have it to where when you walk into a bank one day, there'll be like one or two bank tellers at the most. And everything else is going to be just ATMs. Watch, All right? The stock market. I own stocks. Okay, I trade on the stock market. All right, you guys. The stock market back in the days was all equity traders, all people. Like when you watch the movie Wall Street, right? When you watch all those movies, okay, all those people, you guys. All right. But guess what? I was looking at some stocks that I owned the other day. And there was an article on Goldman Sachs. You guys know Goldman Sachs, the financial company. They do stock trading and things like that. Goldman Sachs, right? They were talking about how Goldman Sachs used to have thousands of Thousands of equity traders, human equity traders that would trade on the stock market. Thousands Goldman Sachs had. Guess how many they have today? Two. They have two equity traders that are humans. Two. And they have over 200 computers that do the trade. They had thousands of equity traders that lost their jobs to over 200 computers. And these computers trade on the, on the stock market quicker than a human. And these computers, once you buy them, See, once you buy these computers as a corporation, well then guess what? You don't have to pay anything. You have to pay nothing. But just have a computer tech guy come in every once in a while and one of these computers slow down or it breaks down a little bit. But guess how long these computers run 24-7 without breaking down once you first buy them. They run for years. Because Goldman Sachs, this stock company, this stock trading company, is buying the most expensive computer technology when they first buy them. So they're not buying no cheap computers that break down in six months. They're buying these computer systems that are the top technological computer systems and they last for years and years and years and years and years. So once you buy these computer systems, they last for so many years. And after you buy them, you don't have to pay anything else. That's it. Once you buy them, you own them. You don't have to pay anything else. Done deal. You save so much money. Imagine how much money Goldman Sachs was paying to thousands of thousands of human equity traders. Thousands of stock traders Goldman Sachs used to have 
people that people that traded on the stock market, you know how much the men were making? Stock traders, you guys, they make high six figures, if not millions of dollars per year each. And they had thousands. Now they have over 200. I think it was, it's, it's, and it's not like way over 200 computers. What's going on, Nancy? How you doing, sister? It's not like way over 200 computers. They have Goldman Sachs trading stocks. They have, I believe it was 203 computers when I read the article. They have 203 computers that trade the amount of stocks that they used to have to pay thousands of people thousands of, of stock traders to trade when they used to have thousands of people that work for them in Goldman Sachs, the stock company. 203 computers that they buy one time and they last for years and years and years. AI. AI, right? AI. ATMs. Artificial intelligence. AI. Grocery store self-checkouts. Artificial intelligence AI. AI will be taking humans' jobs away. The world is going to look very, very different in the future. Okay. Very, very different. Garbage trucks, even the low-end jobs. We went for stockbrokers, right? We were just talking about stockbrokers and trading on the stock market. All the stocks I own, right? On the low end, garbage trucks. You guys see where garbage trucks used to have garbage men on the back. Now you have garbage trucks where the arm comes out, lifts up the trash, dumps it in the garbage truck. Just need one man to drive it. But guess what? Remember, Tesla, Uber, they're working on those self-driving cars. Amazon, working on those self-driving cars. Wait 20 years from now. Wait 20 years from now. When self-driving vehicle technology has been implemented don't be surprised when you start to see self-driving garbage trucks and that arm that comes out to pick up the garbage you will have no human beings needed to be on a garbage truck whatsoever AI artificial intelligence will take those jobs away too definitely you see AI when you drive what are you talking about old dog and time period of chill the hell you see AI when you drive on a highway. Remember back in the days when you went through a toll booth and you had to stop at the little window and you had to give the lady or gentleman your money, 25 cent, 50 cent, a dollar 25, whatever it was, and then they raised a little arm and your car would drive through. We don't got no humans no more. We got passes now. Pass, you put in your car. Some places don't even have passes anymore. They just have the camera. Read your license plate. Got rid of human beings. Take care. Take care, Elio. Much love and respect, my brother. It's all good. Got rid of human beings for the toll booths. That's AI. That's artificial intelligence taking away human jobs. Tax refunds. A lot of people like to do tax refunds. Like to do tax refunds, right? That's going to be going away. That's going to be going away. Already read the article. They're setting up systems, you guys. You'll be able to go in. First of all, they already have it to where you can do on the internet. You can go on the internet. Don't even have to leave your home. You can go on the internet, type in your tax information, and you can get your taxes done straight online. Don't even got to leave your home. But they're implementing, to even when you go to a tax location, they're going to have machines set up where it's basically the same thing you can do on the internet. You can scan your tax papers through. The machine will read the scans of your tax papers. And they'll do it right there. No human needed. So for those of you guys going into tax refund, that's going to be a disappearing job. So I'm just telling you, people that are going to college, people that are going to school, people, a lot of you guys are going to college and going to school 
for outdated jobs. Jobs that are going to be going away. You're going to go to college and school and pay all this money for jobs that are going to be disappearing from humanity because they're going to be part of computer technology and artificial intelligence AI jobs. Then you know. Be careful what you're going to college wasting your money on, what you're going to taking classes on, what you're wasting your money on. Right? Okay. Why AI? Why do these corporations move to artificial intelligence? Why are these businesses going to move to artificial intelligence? I see you, Antonia C. Love you, Antonia. Toya Shanique. What's going on, Toya Shanique? I see you, sister. Claudio Geronimo, 0406. I see you. Why are these corporations going to move to AI? Why not? If you're a business... Why not? I already went over how Goldman Sachs went from paying thousands of stock market traders that they had employed, Goldman Sachs, that were making high six figures or million dollars per year, down to 203 computers. Why, as a business owner, would you not move to AI? Never calls in sick. Think about this. Humans call in sick. Computers never call in sick. Never calls in sick. Never needs a vacation. You're talking about business productivity here. I was going to say business products. But business productivity or business products. If I own a business... Never calls in sick, my robot, my computer technology. Never needs a vacation. Never needs a pension. I don't got to pay retirement. The robot's going to never retire. These computers will never retire. If they get old, if they're 30, 40 years old, I just get a new computer. Throw it away. But in those 40 years, all I do every like, you know, five, six, seven years, I get a computer, a computer repair guy to come in and spend the day repairing it. And that's it. Never have to pay retirement to this computer. Never needs benefits. Don't got to pay benefits ever again. Never needs health insurance. Computers don't go to the doctor. What's going on, Robert DeFoe? I see you, Robert DeFoe. One, two, three, four. Robert DeFoe. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Never needs health insurance. Computers don't go to the doctor. Never needs dental insurance. Computers don't need their teeth clean. Never talks back to the boss. Computers don't talk back to the boss. They don't roll their eyes at the boss when the boss says something you don't like. Oh, this damn boss. Don't worry about Antonia. I know, I know, I know. I'll talk to you later, though. It's all good, sister. Computers never talk to the boss. Never talk back. Computers never get an attitude. Computers never get tired. AI, artificial intelligence, never gets tired. So they always will produce for a business, for a corporation, to the fastest, highest level. Never gets tired. Now businesses can work 24 hours a day. Work to the highest, fastest level. Now do we care about that? Do we care that AI is taking away people's jobs? No! We don't care. We don't care at all, people. We do not care. When you go to an ATM, when you get your money out of the ATM, when you're on your way to a club that night, and the bank is closed, but you can go to the ATM outside the bank 
You don't go get your money out the ATM and you don't say a little prayer when you get your money out of the ATM like, oh, I just want to pray for the bank teller that lost her job or his job because they're starting to implement ATMs. <laughs> you don't care about the, about the person that would have had a job if it wasn't for the ATM. You don't care about that. We don't care, people. It's humanity. Survival, right? Survival. When you go order on Amazon, you just want your package there. Safe and as quickly as possible. You don't want it messed up. What's going on in my CU, sister? You don't want it messed up. You don't want your package messed up or anything like that. You want your package there safe as possible when you order from Amazon. You don't care if they have the robots in the Amazon warehouses pulling the package as long as they get it right you don't care if they're going to have the drone drop the package in front of your front door as long as it gets there safely so computer technology ai artificial intelligence you guys it is going to be taking away all of these human jobs within the next decades but we don't care we don't care Sandra, 875, I see you. But guess what? I'm going to end this soon. Sandra, 875, what's going on? Grace, BB Grace, 321, the one and only, the beautiful BB Grace. Baby, BB Grace, 321, it's all good, nothing but Grace. Guess what? With artificial intelligence, computer technology, taking away so many different types of jobs that humans used to do. You guys know, right? You guys know I have multiple degrees, right? That's not bragging, right? I'm just saying I have multiple degrees because the only reason why I said that because I wanted to say that one's in history. You guys know one's in history, okay? You guys know I do my daily historical posts every day, right? So you know history is really big with me, Okay? And Planet Mars, I see you, Planet Mars, for sure, for sure. And you guys, with history, and like I always say, and I have, I have a diversity outspoken episode on this about cliches. A cliche is a cliche because it has been proven to be true so many thousands of times that it becomes a cliche. Okay? That's why a cliche is a cliche. It's been proven to be true so many times that it becomes a cliche. That's how true it is. And you guys know one of the cliches with history is what? The biggest cliche they say about history is history repeats itself. History repeats itself. They always say that about history. Cliche. And it's a cliche because that is true. History always repeats itself and guess what with history you guys take care Sandra Sandra 875 take care take care beautiful I see you with history you guys when there are jobs being taken away it leads to higher crime and when there are jobs being taken away, you guys, it leads to higher racism because people look for scapegoats. I see you, Cortland Ryan. What's going on, Cortland Ryan? People look for scapegoats. So when people start to be out of work because of artificial intelligence, because of AI, what's going on, beautiful Cortland Ryan? Because of artificial intelligence, because of AI, because of computer technology, when people start to be taken away, you guys, when jobs get taken away from people and crime goes up and racism rises because people start to blame other people, that leads to violence and in many times throughout history, it leads to war. Whether you're talking about Hitler whether you're talking about the Russian Revolution in the beginning of the, the, um, the 20th century, in the early 1900s, the Russian Revolution, you're talking about 
jobs going away, crime goes up, racism goes up, and that leads to violence, and it leads to war. So, the whole thing with artificial intelligence, AI, we're, we applaud it because we applaud technology. But in the long run, in the future, when we view it of what it may lead us, all the happiness we get because of the way technology is going to make our lives much easier, in the long run, it may make our society, our society much more sad. So, you guys, what I want you to take from this, for you, for your children, for those of you who are teenagers watching this, in your 20s in college, take notice of what you're going to college for. Take notice of what you're being educated about. Because I don't want you guys wasting money for jobs that are going to be going away to computer technology, artificial intelligence, AI. Okay? All right. Okay? So next time you go to your ATM, just know that's AI, artificial intelligence. Next time you go to a self-checkout <clears throat> in a grocery store, just know that's AI, artificial intelligence. All right? All right. All of that. Next time you see you go through a toll booth with your car and there's nobody at the toll booth to take your money and the camera reads your pass in your car, or reads your license plate as you're on the highway going through the toll booth. That is AI. That is artificial intelligence. The next time you see a garbage truck and there's no man on the back that picks up the garbage and puts it in the back of the garbage truck because an arm comes out and lifts it up and dumps it over. That is AI. That is artificial intelligence. The next time you do your taxes and you don't have to go into a place and talk to a person, you can do it over the computer. That is AI. That is artificial intelligence. It is going to be taking over so many jobs, so many of us um, in humanity. We are going to be out of work and it will be a stressful society for many of us. All right. All right, people. Old Dog Anton Pierre to Chill. They call me Old Dog Anton Pierre to Chill. Three, three names, you guys. That is my artist name. Old Dog. Old Dog is kind of like the sexually explicit guy. Sexually explicit, but he's, he's, he's funny. He's a clown. He's a nerd. Um, you guys know how that goes. Um, he's a little bit thuggish sometimes, a little bit gangster, but that's Old Dog. Anti Imperial. Anti Imperial, you guys. <clears throat> It's all about, oh, look at this. Superstar 617 says, McDonald's has it as well. You go to the um, and order and pay the machine. There you go. McDonald's, right? Fast food places, AI, artificial intelligence. There you go. Super, you know Superstar 617? Love you, sister. So, 6 Outcast 6. What's going on, 6 Outcast 6? I see you. Anti-imperial, you guys. Anti-imperial is all about religion, education, upliftment. Politics, government, economics, sociology, psychology, philosophy, physiology, and things like that. That's anti-imperial. And the chill. The chill is all about um, love, falling in love, raising a family. He's a hopeless romantic and things like that. So that is my artist name, Old Dog, Anti-Imperial, The Chill. That's my recording artist name, Old Dog, Anti-Imperial, The Chill. You can follow me, you guys, on Instagram and TikTok. It's at anti-imperial. On Instagram and TikTok, it's at anti underscore imperial, A N T I underscore, that little line at the bottom, underscore I M P E R I A L. A N T I underscore I M P E R I A L. Anti underscore imperial on Instagram and TikTok. On YouTube, it's just anti imperial with a space in between. Anti imperial with a space in between. A N T I space. I M P E R I A L. But you guys on Instagram, you guys can easily follow me on YouTube, you guys, by going to my Instagram bio page. You guys know we all get an Instagram bio page. And on that Instagram bio page, we get that one line for a link. 
And on my Instagram bio page, if you go to my Instagram bio page and click that link, you guys, you will find my latest video. There will that will always be my always be my latest video. And when that video comes up, it will be a YouTube video. And you can go ahead and just hit the hit the subscribe button right there when that YouTube video comes up. When you go to my Instagram bio page and click that link, and I appreciate that. You guys, this is Diversity Outspoken. We do this every Wednesday and every Sunday, 9 o'clock p.m. United States Eastern Time Zone. So we do this every Wednesday, 9 o'clock p.m. United States Eastern Time Zone. And every Sunday, 9 o'clock p.m. United States Eastern Time Zone. We call this Diversity Outspoken because we speak about a diverse range of topics meaning that we speak about anything and everything and we are outspoken or straight to the point about those topics. I have one rule and one rule here only on diversity outspoken and that is that we re that we all remain respectful of the entire environment of diversity outspoken and we, re we remain respectful of one another. You can agree or disagree, all voices are important to me, but just remain respectful when you're doing so. I appreciate that. With you guys, I never have to worry about that, though, because we're all a family here and we always respect one another. Thank you very much, you guys. I appreciate you guys. You guys take care. I love you guys out there, man. Always remember, never give up on your dreams. Never give up on what you want to do. You guys can always DM me or get, get at me any way you can, you guys. If you have any questions or comments or want advice about anything, um, I'm always here for you. You guys, I get about 25, 30 DMs per day. Um, so if I don't get back to you right away, don't take it personally um, because I will get back to you eventually. I try to go through everybody's DMs as much as possible. I get to everybody eventually, but, you know, everybody who I DM, um, I do have conversations with them. So it's not just, you know, as easy as DMing them back and that's it. We do have conversations back and forth. So I try to do that all the time. I usually have about like 30, 40 conversations going with 40 different people at one time. So I will get to you eventually. Um, I, I never will ignore you. Uh, I love you and I will get to you eventually. All right. Thank you guys very, very much. Old Dog and Time Period of Chill. You guys take care. Have a great day or great night, depending on where you are in the world. I appreciate you. Um, I love you guys. All right. Have a great, great day or night. Take care. Bye-bye. Peace. Bye.